Good evening to you all, and particularly to the athletes who are out here tonight. So, on this evening, as our MC was reminding us, there is a great big ball going on with people dressed in black and black ties, except they're celebrating, they're not mourning, even though they're dressed in black. And they're celebrating 50 years of independence for the country. So this is the 50-year tournament for you in Fox Hill to remember this night. 50 years from now, I assure you, I won't be here. <laughs> but all of the athletes who are here will be here or could be here in 50 years. Most of you, if you live 50 years from now, will be between the ages of 60 and 70. And I hope that you remember what these men who are on the side of me did to help build this community by holding this basketball tournament, which is a form of exercise, a form of entertainment, but most of all, a form of community building. And there's nothing which is going to make this community stronger than getting get-togethers like this one, because people come together not divided, but united. And that's the job of all of us who are adults today, is to hand off to you a community that is united, that is peaceful, that is violence-free. So next Friday evening, we will be having a big celebration on the main park to mark 50 years of independence of our own country and you're invited to come there'll be music and there'll be food there'll be a celebration I hope it doesn't interrupt the game next Friday but please come but mainly I want all of you the athletes to remember and I, I, I say this because I've just come back from being put on a committee uh, down in Trinidad to help build the game of cricket, which is dying because young people don't seem to be paying attention to the game. We in the Bahamas have been very successful at building up baseball and building up basketball. So many of our young people are now international stars as a result of starting off in tournaments just like this. So I want to take what you do tonight seriously, and I want you to commit it to your memory. Mainly, I want you to commit, in so far as it is in your power, to live for another 50 years. And be here 50 years from now when we celebrate the 100th anniversary of our country. You will then have children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. And you will recall for them how you spent this night in Fox Hill, marking 50 years and how grateful you are to have lived to see a hundred years. Thank you, good night, and have a good tournament.